Samsung's got five new devices coming on August 5th. This isn't a rumor or speculation. The confirmation of five devices comes from Samsung's president and head of mobile communications, TM Rowe, in a post in the Samsung newsroom. Rowe also said these will be power devices. Let's take a look at Samsung's teaser video. We get a glimpse of five products in the shadows. Here's what to expect at the unpacked event. We'll start from right to left. On the far right looks to be a new Galaxy Note, complete with an S Pen leaning on it. We've covered the next Note extensively at CNET. Here's a quick recap. It's likely to be called the Note 20 to fall in line with the S20. It will have 5G, be running the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, and there's probably going to be three models. There will be the Note 20, the Note 20 Plus, and the Note 20 Ultra, just like the S. The Ultra will be the top of the line Note with the most features. Renders have leaked from Samsung's own Russian site. All in all, it looks like a pretty phone. Over on Twitter, Ice Universe had some specs about the Note 20 Ultra. They say it will have reduced bezels all over the front of the device. The hole punch for the front-facing camera would be smaller as well. When we're talking size, the Ultra may be the biggest mainstream Samsung phone with a screen size of over 7 inches. Quick aside, any sources I mention here have been highly reliable and accurate in the past. Then we've got the next fold. What should you know about it? First up, it might join the Samsung Z line. Why? Well, there are lots of reports about that, but also, if you go to Samsung's own mobile site, go to smartphones and tap through Galaxy Z, the original fold is listed under the Z Flip. Isn't that snazzy? Okay, we're probably looking at 5G because that makes a lot of sense for an expensive phone. The internal screen might drop that big right side camera cutout. With the original fold, Samsung put in around a million cameras in the device in case you wanted to take a picture from any use case. Ice Universe posted a mock-up of the Fold 2 showing a solitary camera cutout in the internal screen. Is that possible? Yes. Is it likely? Sure. The S10 Plus had dual cameras on the front. None of the S20s have that anymore. The original Fold was not rated for water resistance. The new one could have some waterproofing. Evidence of that was found in a Samsung patent. What about that cover screen? That's the one you can see when the Fold is well folded. It was long and narrow with okay functionality. Never fear, Ice Universe had a blurry image of what they say is the Fold 2, if that image is real. It looks like the cover screen is getting a big upgrade. It looks to take up a lot more of the front side. The camera bump also resembles the one on the Note 20. A Samsung patent showed off a Fold-like device with a smaller cover screen. There is a chance that Samsung would release a lower cost Fold that could be called the Fold E. That rumor surfaced thanks to Max Weinbach of XDA Developers. There are reports of stylus support for the Fold 2. Theoretically, that's awesome. However, that internal screen might have to be a lot tougher for an S Pen. Speaking of that, expect higher-end ultra-thin glass on one of the Folds, like the Z Flip. Can the glass withstand an S Pen? Maybe if it's super tough or if the pen is redesigned a bit. We make our way to the new Samsung Galaxy Watch. Tech Talk TV on YouTube has a video showing off what he says is the new watch already. There will be two versions. One is 41 millimeters, the other is 45 millimeters. The video had the smaller one. The watch has a rotating bezel, but it's thinner than before. It's still got two buttons on the side. And because Samsung loves skipping numbers, Tech Talk TV says this new watch will be called Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, even though there's no Samsung Galaxy Watch 2. He says that the reason could be a marketing decision to avoid confusion with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. It would be water resistant and have Gorilla Glass DX. The Watch 3 would have lots of sensors, a blood pressure sensor, a heart rate sensor, and an ECG sensor. The watch is still running Samsung's own operating system. Sorry, Wear OS diehards, all four of you. Next up, we have the new Samsung earbuds. This is one of the worst kept tech secrets in recent memory. Samsung has updated its Galaxy Buds apps and they show off the Galaxy Buds Live. They're the ones that are bean shaped. The app says the Buds Live would have active noise cancellation and touch controls on each Bud. Pricing could be around 170 bucks according to Win Future. Oh, it appears Samsung leaked the manual for the Galaxy Buds Live as well. It confirms active noise canceling as a feature. It also has a helpful guide on how to wear your ear beans. To ensure a good seal between the bean and your ear, you should quote, hook the wingtip into the fixation hook, 
of its respective earbud and pull it to the groove in the other side to secure it, end quote. That's bordering on pro Samsung, I kinda love it. Also, for reasons not clear to any normal human being, there's Bixby support in the Buds Live. Now let's take a look at the last object in shadow. It is likely to be a Samsung Android tablet. There would be two models, the Galaxy Tab S7 and the S7 Plus. Yeah, I know the reports on them with pretty much all the specs all out there, but a high-end Android tablet makes no sense unless it's the year 2011, and I don't think it's 2011. Okay, if you must know, you're looking at an 11-inch and a 12.4-inch tablet, an S Pen that attaches to the back. Outside, you get thin bezels. Inside, you get a top-of-the-line Qualcomm processor. whoop de doo Again, don't invest in an Android tablet now. If you want to know even more about the Note 20, check this video out. Don't forget, we will have full coverage of Samsung's unpacked event. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. Really, if you want a large Android device, get the Note 20 Ultra or the S20 Ultra. There's 6.9 inches for the Ultra, that's the S20, and seven inches, maybe, for the Note 20. Why would you buy an 11-inch Android tablet? What are you, nuts? Have you gone bananas? Have you gone crackers? These are the three foods that might indicate that you've lost your mind.